Max. Yes. What's up? Hey. My name is Max. I'm co-founder of Kizi, and we um, secure offices with our access control system. Access control. Access. Yeah. Everything with doors and security. So how does it work? There, you have an app. There are electronic locks. Exactly. As a user, you use your phone or keycard to batch in. The door opens, and um, the second perspective is the management. You have like management interface, or you can hook it up to your Google directory or anything else. And then um, the hardware is magnetic locks, electric strikes, whatever the door needs, and um, triggers open if you have the right to get in. Cool. Um, definitely. Yeah. If you're more interested, go to our website. Um, what is it? Getkeezy.com. Um, G-E-T-K-I-S-I.com. What are we tearing apart? The screwdriver. Um, you From can Black and Decker. Black and Decker. <laughs> um, here are other screwdrivers. Hold this one. Pepin, would you pass yeah, me these, this one? These seem like more... This one's I mean, heavier. These, these are like drills, right? These yeah, drills. This, is, this is 18 volt to wall. What is this one? It's like, well, it's like 12. 12 volt lithium from Bosch. Yeah. And this says it's a 3.7 volt. What's weird is that the charger is... It's not putting 10 volts, so... Mm. You would charge it at 5 normally for a 3.6 volt battery. And the sound is not that good, right? Yeah, yeah, so here, let's just, let's get these, uh, we're gonna put this up by the, the microphone here. You can't see it, but there's a microphone right. right here. All right, this is, this is the, this is a good one. This is the Bosch, listen. Oh, it kind of ramps up, yeah. and there's a brake on it. Yeah, and you get speeds on it too, go real slow. Almost like an instrument. Yeah. Yeah. So that's could, nice. Yeah. I'm guessing there's probably a brushless motor inside this thing, mm -hmm. a really nice set of gears. Uh, the DeWalt, let's hear that one. <laughs> and then um, for comparison. Can I turn it up faster or is that? No, that's the speed. All right, that's what it does. So what? What's the um, the price yeah. point for this one? Is this was twenty bucks, twenty dollars on Amazon, ninety to one hundred. I think this was one fifty or two hundred. Okay, so this is like that. Yeah, it's expensive. Done. All right, it's going pretty quick. Let's do that. Just slow. And then if you're in a real hurry. <laughs> and then it has an amusing setting, which is if you want it to just be a screwdriver, you put it there. And, like it won't budge. And you no know, way. You turn it's it manual. Oh, yeah. So if the battery dies, then you can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we should use this guy to take apart this guy. Okay. Let's take it apart with this. Yeah. Alright, so that's a planetary gear, and we have two sets of these, which means that we've got two reductions. Why, why do you want planetary gears? In general, motors are good at going fast and not at producing a lot of torque. This motor right here is high speed, low torque, and to screw in that screw to hang that picture frame, you want something that is low speed, high torque. Okay. Uh, the idea being that uh, you don't really need to screw that screw into the wall very fast, but there's a lot of like resistance from the wall on the screw. If I were to take this motor directly and put a screwdriver tip on it and go to screw in anything, it would just it would stall really quickly. In fact, so it's like uh, maybe that. an easy concept is like a bicycle at a low gear setting if you're trying to climb a hill. Right? Yes. So you're pedaling very fast and you're able to climb that climb that hill more easily. Exactly. So this is pedaling really, really fast, and then by going two reductions down through this planetary gear system, we're able to climb a very steep hill. Got it. So you wanted to show us how 
they do forward and reverse. Yeah. All right, so we've got this collar here, and we've got our motor, and the collar goes around the contacts of the motor, and mm. then you turn here, and when you push down, it's ground goes to this one lead, and then when you push down, voltage goes to this lead. Mm. When you go over here, ground goes to this lead. Wow. And voltage goes to that one. It's very... Very stupid. Yeah. Very good. I like this kind of design. So we've got this motor engaging with this, which is called our sun gear. And that spins these planet gears. And they engage with this outer ring here. And then as that spins, uh, in the inside of this, this entire uh, carrier spins slowly. And that spins this gear right here, which turns aside this set of planetary gears. And then this carrier spins slowly. And then that drives our shaft. Uh, fun thing here, this is like, if you were to like put a stop to the motor, uh -huh. and you tried to use this as a regular screwdriver, it would kind of like torque the motor back and forth, it would suck. So what they have here is this, this neat little piece. When you twist the collar on the top, this pushes down and it locks. Uh, it locks so now the whole together. system is stuck, and then you can use it as a regular screwdriver. We're trying to figure out why we have a 3.7 volt LiPo, but yet a 10 volt charger. For a 3.7 volt battery, in order to charge them, you're supplying a voltage that's about 100 millivolts above its current voltage, and mm -hmm. you're constantly sort of like pulling it up. And then, so as that raises up, the other one raises, and it just constantly sort of pulls it. It's like pulling a mule along very slowly. You, know, you wouldn't use a long rope or the mule will fall over. So we have the multimeter on the board, and on the input, as expected, we have 10 and a half volts coming in, but then we have this array of resistors on, on this side. So they're stepping it down from 10 and a half to 8.3, then 6.9, around seven, then five and a half, and lastly, 4.1, which is the near the voltage of, of a full battery. I don't know why they're doing this, but my best guess is so that they can maintain this, this charger, which is maybe inexpensive, and they're buying them in high quantities, and then they're able to use this battery. Probably they use this charger for like a couple of other things, and they raise it in a quantity, and then, I mean, it's probably like pretty inexpensive to build a circuit. Yeah. Yay, value engineering. Woo! All right, then thanks for having me. Um, for yeah. me, it's always great to take apart things. Um, I Probably next time we can do a chainsaw or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like and subscribe. Yes. Ted, you forgot the best part. You like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You gotta Leave like. Comments you down, gotta like it. Down below. Subscribe to it. Bye. Bye. Bye.